Hey everybody, welcome back. Chris here as always. Uh, so today, we're going to do a little shovel work. Uh, I had a couple of Volkswagen videos on there and uh, nobody seems to like them. So, uh, we have some work we need to do the shovel. So, uh, currently we're waiting on some parts to fix this. That massive freaking transmission leak. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, just as bad as it was before, if not worse. So, um... Ray up in Canada makes some of those spacers that has an O-ring on the inside. I ordered one last week. <clears throat> uh, waiting on it to get here. Once that gets in, we're going to fix that leak. Uh, I'm, I'm tired of it dripping everywhere. Uh, but today, we are going to build a new kicker pedal. Um, so here's what I'm talking about. This is a cheap-ass rubber one that I bought when I first got this thing together. And you see, it has come apart. Um, yeah, not an HD one. This is an aftermarket. So, uh, I'm going to build a new one out of stainless. Um, so, we can get rid of this piece of crap and put something nice on here. And uh, get rid of that. So, um, yeah. So, that's the plan for today. Uh, so, what we're going to use <clears throat> is this right here. Uh, this is 5 8 stainless. Um, should be enough, should be thick enough to give a nice um, piece to this. So I'm going to pull that apart. We're going to use, uh, we're going to make two rods, uh, one on each side of the, of the middle. And then we'll do a middle rod. Uh, undecided, probably going to do bushings um, for it. But I'm going to pull this kicker pedal apart and see uh, see what the inside looks like as far as the uh, mechanism that it rotates upon and then uh, we're gonna start turning some pieces and build us something here so hopefully it turns out nice uh, I do like the original rubber style pedals but uh, as you see that one's that one's garbage and trying to find an original that's not ungodly expensive is hard to find anymore so we're gonna make our own why not so we have the stuff let's do it so let's get to it so I already have this loose here I already loosened it with a wrench. Uh, I got caught out in the rain the other day, so um, I thought I blew it off pretty well, but apparently not. So we'll have to uh, address that. Um, but this pedal should slide out the back. If not, I'm going to cut it. <coughs> but okay. It's already broken anyway. It's got let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah this on that. <coughs> so instead of fighting it. Which this is, I'm sure, some very shitty rubber. As you can see, well, it may not even be rubber. <coughs> <coughs> All right, there we go. Cut that off. So it looks like it's just got a piece of sheet metal that just. Is literally just loosely stamped over this thing, oh, and then they spot welded it together. So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna fix that. I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. Um, I'm gonna try and build this without welding anything. I want to bolt it all together. So, um. That's the plan, mainly because my argon tank is getting filled right now. Um, so it's going to be a week or so, and I want to kind of get this done. So I think what we're going to do is just cut this off, cut these plates off. We'll use this middle, and then I'm going to make some saddles, uh, make some end plates. It'll slide over this, and then uh, we'll tap the end of this and put a bolt in it. Um, that way it'll sleeve over, and everything will look nice. Um, we'll just take our whole pedal and it'll sleeve over this whole thing and then attach on the end. Um, 
and it actually will turn out pretty nice. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so I just took the bandsaw and cut that part off. Uh, this is what we're left with. So, uh, we'll use this rubber as a reference for our size, what we need. Um, and then uh, we'll start turning some stainless on the old lathe and see, uh, see what we can come up with. All right, so we got our knurling done here. Uh, this piece is about eight inches long. We're going to cut it in half. Uh, that'll give us four inches. Uh, this is our piece here. I got these bushings. I'm going to make a center piece to go on here. Um, it'll go <clears throat> on the bushings, and then we're going to use this quarter inch plate to go on the ends. So it'll be quarter inch plate, quarter inch plate, rod between it, and then uh, the middle. We'll see what we're going to do there. I'm still not really sure if I want to cover this or if we just want to do the bushings in the plate and be done with it. So, um, yeah, let's finish the rest up. All right, so we have our knurling pieces here. I have two of these cut. Um, I have a sleeve that I still need to cut, but um, basically it's going to go like this. We'll put one of these on each side. So it's going to look like a bicycle pedal. Um, I have these bushings and uh, these are going to go on the sleeve that's going to go over this. And these guys fit on here. They're a little loose, um, but they should be perfect. Um, just a little bit of wobble. So it won't be too tight, it should spin freely. Uh, I'm going to cut the end plates out of this quarter inch stainless. And then uh, we're going to countersink the ends uh, for the screws. Um, so I <clears throat> went to Home Depot earlier to try and get some screws. Uh, they had button heads, but they only had them in half inch length um, with this quarter inch. I need at least three quarters of length so that way we'd have at least half inch of actual thread into our pieces and less chance of shearing it all off. Uh, chances of shearing off are minimal anyway because all the pressure is on that middle one and not on the two outsides. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to countersink them now. Um, we're going to countersink our holes into these plates and then countersink our screws, uh, our bolts, and then everything should be nice and tidy and flush and should look primo. So let's get to laying out this quarter inch plate for each end and then uh, we'll cut it all out and get her done.
All right, so we got one of these done. Uh, turned out pretty good for the most part. Needs a little more refining, but for the most part, it, it looks, looks pretty good. So, the pieces will go on here. I still got to face the end of this. But that piece will go on here. This one will go over here with our sleeve. And then, this another one will go over here. Uh, so, I'm going to work on these. I'm going to drill and tap these. Um... <clears throat> And make our sleeve and get our bushings pushed in and attach it to this and then we'll make the other end of this uh, this the other end is gonna be a little bit different um, because this shaft has to go through so I gotta make this hole a little bit bigger but other than that it should all be the same so let's get to it finally uh, we have all of our parts machined uh, these were fighting me super hard uh, this was a previous one broke two taps off uh, before we finally got these off uh, this is all stainless so it's pain in the ass uh, but we finally got it all done I changed uh, some processes uh, <coughs> drilled these a little bit bigger so because really there's no uh, lateral pull on the threads it's all sheer so uh, it'll be fine so uh, so what we have here is this is the only part from our original popsicle uh, the cheap uh, drag specialties one that was falling apart The rest of the stuff I made it's all from stainless These are end plates uh, These are the two side pieces. This is our main shaft um, I don't know if you can see it, but we have bushings in here and This will slide over here, and this is our main pivot uh, We also have a bushing in the end of this uh, because we have a shoulder bolt and that'll help right against there and it'll be good to go so uh, Yeah, let's get this thing together so we can uh, we can get it on the bike Well, we'll do on this part because well, it's a bike and I'm going to I'm going to that one over and I'm just going to I kind of sound really bubbled up, though. When it's all together, it'll be nice and flush when everything sticks out. It's just a little bubbling in. But, that's really only because of um, the biggest thing to uh, I don't have nail to these flat ends right now. So, and I have a piece with the size stainless. I have an inch quarter of everything right now. So, that's uh, basically all through. So, this is a... All right, so we'll go ahead and get this thing back on the bike. Uh, we got our spring here. Goes on the bottom. Or maybe I had it on top. I don't remember. dab on here it's got a lock washer on but we'll put a little dab just for safe assurance There we go. Another kicker all on there. Kick it through. Yep. Yeah. 
That is going to work just fine. Got them bushings all seated in there. She, uh, she's good to go. So, we went from this old popsicle, this cheap uh, rubber, to this full stainless guy. Uh, took me a little while to get it done, of course. Uh, it was fighting me. So, but overall, uh, as far as machine work and actual time, uh, I think I have a couple hours in it. Um, besides fighting taps and all the other crap. But uh, that's going to do it for now. Uh, there is one thing. Uh, this came in the mail yesterday. Uh, or maybe from Friday. I don't know if you can see it. There is an O-ring inside of that spacer. So hopefully that will fix our transmission leak. Uh, we're going to assess the, the main shed or the main gear bushing in there. See if, make sure we don't have a lot of excess to play. Could be, could be causing our, our transmission leak also or contributing anyway. But uh, next thing we will be doing is tearing that back apart and fixing that transmission leak finally. So, uh, and after that, ride the piss out of it. So, stay tuned. Take care, everybody.